Question 1. Which type of loop is guaranteed to have the body execute at least once? A. Do while loop. B. For, traditional. C. For each. D. While. The correct answer is A. A do while loop checks the loop condition after execution of the loop body. This ensures it always executes at least once, and option A is correct. Option B is incorrect because there are loops you can write that do not ever enter the loop body, such as for, in I equals 0, I 1, I plus plus. Similarly, option D is incorrect because a while loop can be written where the initial loop condition is false. Option C is incorrect because A for each loop does not enter the loop body when iterating over an empty list. Question 2. Which of the following can loop through an array without referring to the elements by index? A. Do while loop. B. For, traditional. C. For each. D. While. The correct answer is C. While a traditional for loop often loops through an array, it uses an index to do so, making option B incorrect. The for each loop goes through each element, storing it in a variable. Option C is correct. Question 3. What keyword is used to end the current loop iteration and proceed execution with the next iteration of that loop? A. Break. B. Continue. C. End. D. Skip. The correct answer is B. The continue keyword is used to end the loop iteration immediately and resume execution at the next iteration. Therefore, option B is correct. Option A is incorrect because the break statement causes execution to proceed after the loop body. Option C and D are incorrect because these are not keywords in Java. Question 4. What keyword is used to proceed with execution immediately after a loop? A. Break. B. Continue. C. End. D. Skip. The correct answer is A. The break keyword is used to end the loop iteration immediately, skip any remaining executions of the loop, and resume execution immediately after the loop. Therefore, option A is correct. Option B is incorrect because execution proceeds at the next execution of the current loop for continue. Option C and D are incorrect because these are not keywords in Java. Question 5. Which type of loop has three segments within parentheses? A. Do while loop. B. For, traditional. C. For each. D. While. The correct answer is B. A traditional for loop is best known for having an initialization statement, condition statement, and update statement. Option B is correct. Question 6. Which of the following statements is slash are true? I. A traditional for loop can iterate through an array starting from index 0. 2. A traditional for loop can iterate through an array starting from the end. A only I B only 2. C both statements. D neither statement. The correct answer is C. With a traditional for loop, you control the order in which indexes are visited in code. This means you can loop through an array in ascending or descending order, and option C is correct. Question 7. Which of the following statements is slash are true? I. A for each loop can iterate through an array starting from index 0. 2. A for each loop can iterate through an array starting from the end. A only I B only 2. C both statements. D neither statement. The correct answer is A. With A for each loop, the loop order is determined for you. With an array, this means starting with index 0, and option A is correct. A traditional for loop allows you to control the order and iterate in either order. Question 8. Which type of loop has a Boolean condition that is first checked after a single iteration through the loop? A. Do while loop. B. For, traditional. C. For each. D. While. The correct answer is A. A do while loop has a condition that returns a Boolean at the end of the loop. Therefore, option A is correct. Option D is incorrect because a while loop has this condition at the beginning of the loop. A traditional for loop is best known for having a loop variable, making option B incorrect. Option C is incorrect because there is no condition as part of the loop construct. Question 9. What is the following code output? In singer equals 0, while, singer, system.out.println_singer++ plus plus, A, 0. B. The code does not compile. C. The loops complete with no output. D. This is an infinite loop. The correct answer is B. A while loop requires a Boolean condition. While singer is a variable, it is not a Boolean. Therefore, the code does not compile, and option B is correct. Question 10. What is the following code output? List string drinks equals arrays dot as list can, cup, 4, in container equals drinks dot size, 1, container equals 0, container, system dot out dot print drinks dot get container plus, a, can, cup, b, cup, can, c, the code does not compile. 
D. None of the above. The correct answer is B. This is a correct loop to go through an array list or list starting from the end. It starts with the last index in the list and goes to the first index in the list. Option B is correct. Question 11. What is the following code output? Public static void main string, args. List string bottles equals arrays dot as list class, plastic, 4, and type equals 0. Type bottles dot size. System dot out dot print bottles dot get type plus, break. System dot out dot print end. A. Glass, end. B. Glass, plastic, end. C. The code does not compile. D. None of the. The correct answer is A. The first time through the loop, the index is 0 and glass, is output. The break statement then skips all remaining executions on the loop and the main method ends. If there was no break keyword, this would be an infinite loop because there's no incrementer. Question 12. What is the following code output? String letters equals, while, letters dot length. Equals 2, letters plus equals A, system dot out dot print and letters, A, A, A. B, triple A. C, the loops complete with no output. D, this is an infinite loop. The correct answer is A. Immediately after letters is initialized, the loop condition is checked. The variable letters is of length 0, which is not equal to 2 so the loop is entered. In the loop body, letters becomes length 1 with contents A. The loop index is checked again and now 1 is not equal to 2. The loop is entered and letters becomes length 2 and contains AA then the loop index is checked again. Since the length is now 2, the loop is completed and AA is output. Option A is correct. Question 13. What is the result of the following when run with Java Peregrine dot time loop September 3rd 1940? Package Peregrine, public class time loop, public static void main string, args. 4, and i equals args dot length, i equals 0, i plus plus, system dot out dot print on args. A. Args. B. Args args. C. The code does not compile. D. None of the above. The correct answer is D. There are three arguments passed to the program. This means that i is 3 on the first iteration of the loop. The program prints args. Then i is incremented to 4. Which is also greater than or equal to 0. Since i never gets smaller, this code produces an infinite loop and the answer is option D. Question 14. What is the output of the following code? A. 1. B. 2. C. 4. D. The code does not compile. The correct answer is B. Since count is a class variable that isn't specifically initialized, it defaults to 0. On the first iteration of the loop, Washington, is 11 characters and count is set to 1. V if statement's body is not run. The loop then proceeds to the next iteration. This time, the post increment operator uses index 1 before setting count to 2. Monroe is checked, which is only 6 characters. The break statement sends the execution to after the loop and 2 is output. Option B is correct. Question 15. What is the result of the following code? Do, int count equals 0, do, count plus plus, while, count 2, break, while, true, system dot out dot print on count, a, 2, b, 3, c, the code does not compile. D, this is an infinite loop. The correct answer is C. At first this code appears to be an infinite loop. However, the count variable is declared inside the loop. It is not in scope after the loop where it is referenced by the print line. Therefore, the code does not compile, and option C is correct. Question 16. Which of the following segments of A for loop can be left blank? 4. Segmenta, segment, segment. A. Segmenta. B. Segment. C. Segment. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. A for loop is allowed to have all three segments left blank. In fact, 4, is an infinite loop. Question 17. How many of the loop types, while, do while, traditional for, and enhanced for, allow you to write code that creates an infinite loop? A1. B2. C3. D4. The correct answer is C. It is not possible to create an infinite loop using A for each because it simply loops through an array or array list. The other types allow infinite loops, such as, for example, do, while true, for, and while true. Therefore, option C is correct. And yes, we know it is possible to create an infinite loop with for each be creating your own custom iterable. This isn't on the OCA or OCP exam though. If you think the answer is option D, this is a great reminder of what not to read into on the real exam. Question 18. What is the output of the following? List string drinks equals arrays dot as list can, cup, 
4, in container equals 0, container drinks dot size, container plus plus, system dot out dot print drinks dot get container plus, A, can, cup. D, cup, can. C, the code does not compile. D, none of the above. The correct answer is A. This is a correct loop to go through an array list or list starting from the beginning. It starts with index 0 and goes to the last index in the list. Option A is correct. Question 19. What happens when running the following code? Do, system.out.println helium. While, false, A, it completes successfully without output. B, it outputs helium once. C, it keeps outputting helium. D, the code does not compile. The correct answer is D. Braces are optional around loops if there is only one statement. Parentheses are not allowed to surround a loop body though, so the code does not compile, and option D is correct. Question 20. Which of the following is equivalent to this code snippet given an array of string objects? 4, int i equals 0, i fun dot length, i plus plus, system dot out dot print and fun i, a, 4, string f equals fun, system dot out dot print and f, v, 4, string f, fun, system dot out dot print and f, c, 4, string equals fun, system dot out dot print and d none of the above. The correct answer is b. The for each loop uses a variable and colon as the syntax, making option B correct. Question 21. How many of these statements can be inserted after the print to have the code flow follow the arrow in this diagram? A none. B1. C2. D3. The correct answer is C. In this figure, we want to end the inner loop and resume execution at the letters label. This means we only want to break out of the inner loop. A break statement does just that. It ends the current loop and resumes execution immediately after the loop, making break, a correct answer. The break numbers, statement explicitly says which loop to end, which does the same thing, making it correct as well. By contrast, break letters, ends the outer loop, causing the code only to run the println once. Therefore, two statements correctly match the diagram, and option C is correct. Question 22. Using the diagram in the previous question, how many of these statements can be inserted after the print to have the code flow follow the arrow in the diagram? Continue. Continue letters. Continue numbers. A. None. B. 1. C. 2. D. 3. The correct answer is B. In this figure, we want to end the inner loop and resume execution at the letters label. The continue letters statement does that. The other two statements resume execution at the inner loop. Therefore, only the second statement correctly matches the diagram, and option B is correct. Question 23. What is the following code output? In singer equals 0, while, singer 0, system.out.println singer plus plus, a, 0. B. The code does not compile. C. The loops completes with no output. D. This is an infinite loop. The correct answer is C. A while loop checks the Boolean condition before entering the loop. In this code, that condition is false so the loop body is never run. No output is produced, and option C is correct. Question 24. Which of the following types is taxis not allowed to be in order for this code to compile? 4. Object of j, taxis. A array list integer. B. Int. C string builder. D. All of these are allowed. The correct answer is C. A for each loop is allowed to be used with arrays and array list objects. String builder is not an allowed type for this loop, so option C is the answer. Question 25. What is the output of the following? Boolean balloon inflated equals false. Do, if, exclamation mark balloon inflated. Balloon inflated equals true. System.out.print inflate. While. Balloon inflated. System.out.print none. A. Done. V. Inflate done. C. The code does not compile. D. This is an infinite loop. The correct answer is B. This is a correct do while loop. On the first iteration of the loop, the if statement executes and prints inflate. Then the loop condition is checked. The variable balloon inflated is true, so the loop condition is false and the loop completes. Question 26. What is the following code output? String letters equals, while, letters dot length. Equals 3, letters plus equals ab. System dot out dot print and letters, a, ab. b, above. c, the loop completes with no output. D. This is an infinite loop. The correct answer is D. Immediately after letters is initialized, the loop condition is checked. The variable letters is of length 0, which is not equal to 3, so the loop is entered. In the loop body, letters becomes length 2 and contains app. 
The loop index is checked again and now 2 is not equal to 3. The loop is entered and letters becomes length 4 with contents above. Then the loop index is checked again. Since the length 4 is not equal to 3, the loop body is entered again. This repeats for 6, 8, 10, etc. The loop never ends, and option D is correct. Question 27. What describes the order in which the three expressions appear in A for loop? A. Boolean conditional, initialization expression, update statement. B. Initialization expression, Boolean conditional, update statement. C. Initialization expression, update statement, Boolean conditional. D. None of the above. The correct answer is B. In A for loop, the segments are an initialization expression, a Boolean conditional, and an update statement in that order. Therefore, option B is correct. Question 28. What is the result of the following? In count equals 10, list character chars equals new array list, do, chars dot add a, 4, character x, chars, count equals 1, while, count 0, system dot out dot print on chars dot size, a, 3, b, 4, c, the code does not compile. d none of the above. The correct answer is b. On the first iteration through the outer loop, chars becomes one element. The inner loop is run once and count becomes 9. On the second iteration through the outer loop, chars becomes two elements. The inner loop runs twice so count becomes seven. On the third iteration through the outer loop, chars becomes three elements. The inner loop runs three times so count becomes four. On the fourth iteration through the outer loop, chars becomes four elements. The inner loop runs four times so count becomes zero. Then both loops end. Therefore, option B is correct. Question 29. What is the result of the following? In k equals 0, 4, and i equals 10, i 0, i, while, i 3, i equals 3, k plus equals 1. System dot out dot print in k, a, 1, b, 2, c, 3, d, 4. The correct answer is a. On the first iteration of the outer loop, i starts out at 10. The inner loop sees that 10 3 and subtracts 3, making the 7 the new value of i. Since 7 3, we subtract 3 again making I set to 4. Yet again 4 3, so I becomes 1. Then K is finally incremented to 1. The outer loop decrements I I, making it 0. The Boolean condition sees that 0 is not greater than 0. The outer loop ends and 1 is printed out. Therefore, option A is correct. Question 30. Which of the following is equivalent to this code snippet given an array of string objects? 4, and I equals fun.length1, I equals 0, I, System dot out dot print and fun i a four string f equals fun system dot out dot print f b four string f fun system dot out dot print f c four string f fun system dot out dot print d none of the above the correct answer is d options a and c do not compile as they do not use the correct syntax for a for each loop the for each loop is only able to go through an array in ascending order. It is not able to control the order, making option C incorrect. Therefore, option D is the answer. Question 31. What is the following code output? Public static void main string, args. List string bottles equals arrays dot as list glass, plastic, 4, and type equals 0, type bottles dot size, system dot out dot print bottles dot get type plus, break, system dot out dot print end. A. Glass, end. B. Glass, plastic, end. C. The code does not compile. D. None of the above. The correct answer is C. Since there are no brackets around the for statement, the loop body is only one line. The break statement is not in the loop. Since break cannot be used at the top level of a method, the code does not compile, and option C is correct. Question 32. What is the result of the following? String, Nike Tour Loops equals new string. Downtown, Uptown, Brooklyn. String, times equals new string. Day night, 4, and i equals 0, j equals 0, i night tour loops dot length j times dot length, i plus plus, j plus plus, system dot out dot print night tour loops i, plus plus times j, plus dash, a downtown day, b downtown day uptown night, c, the code does not compile, d, the code compiles but throws an exception at runtime, the correct answer is c, multiple update expressions are separated with a comma rather than a semicolon, Tricky, we know. But it is an important distinction. This makes option C correct. Question 33. 
What is the result of the following when run with Java Peregrine. Time loop September 3, 1940. Package Peregrine, public class time loop, public static void main string, args. 4, and i equals args. Length, i equals 0, i, system. Out. Print long args i. A September. B, 1940. C, the code does not compile. D, none of the above. The correct answer is D. There are three arguments passed to the program. This means that i is 3 on the first iteration of the loop. The program attempts to print args 3. Since indexes are 0 based in Java, it throws an array index out of bounds exception. Question 34. What is the output of the following? Public class shoelaces, public static void main string, args. String tie equals null, while, tie equals equals null, tie equals shoelace, system dot out dot print tie. A. Null. B. Shoelace. C. Shoelace shoelace. D. None of the above. The correct answer is B. The first time the loop condition is checked, the variable tie is null. The loop body executes, setting tie. Despite the indention, there are no brackets surrounding the loop body so the print does not run yet. Then the loop condition is checked and tie is not null. The print runs after the loop, printing out shoelace once, making option B correct. Question 35. The following code outputs a single letter X. What happens if you remove lines 25 and 28? 23, string race equals, 24, loop, 25, do, 26, race plus equals X, 27, break loop. 28, while, true, 29, system.out.println race, A, it prints an empty string. B, it still outputs a single letter X. C, it no longer compiles. D, it becomes an infinite loop. The correct answer is C. The code compiles as is. However, we aren't asked about whether the code compiles as is. Line 27 refers to a loop label. While the label is still present, it no longer points to a loop. This causes the code to not compile, and option C is correct. Question 36. What is the output of the following code? A. 1. B. 2. C. 4. D. The code does not compile. The correct answer is C. The continue statement is useless here since there is no code later in the loop to skip. The continue statement merely resumes execution at the next iteration of the loop, which is what would happen if the if-then statement was empty. Therefore, count increments for each element of the array. The code outputs 4, and option C is correct. Question 37. What is the output of the following? String builder builder equals new string builder. String str equals new string leaves growing. Do. System.out.println str. While. Builder. System.out.println builder. A leaves growing. B. This is an infinite loop. C. The code does not compile. D. The code compiles but throws an exception at runtime. The correct answer is C. A do while loop requires a boolean condition. The builder variable is a string builder and not a boolean. The code does not compile, and option C is correct. Question 38. What is the result of the following code? 6, in count equals 0, 7, do, 8, do, 9, count plus plus, 10, while, count 2, 11, break, 12, while, true, 13, system dot out dot print and count, A, 2, B. 3. C. The code does not compile. D. This is an infinite loop. The correct answer is A. At first this code appears to be an infinite loop. However, there is a break statement. On line 6, count is set to 0. On line 9, it is changed to 1. Then the condition on line 10 runs. Count is less than 2 so the inner loop continues. Then count is set to 2 on the next iteration of the inner loop. The loop condition on line 10 runs again and then this time is false. The inner loop is completed. Then line 11 of the outer loop runs and sends execution to after the loop on line 13. At this point count is still 2, so option A is correct. Question 39. Fill in the blank so this code compiles and does not cause an infinite loop. T, while, true. F, while true, underscore. A, break. B, break F. C, break T. D, none of the above. The correct answer is C. Option A breaks out of the inner loop, but the outer loop is still infinite. Option B has the same problem. Option C is correct because it breaks out of both loops. Question 40. What is the result of the following? String, Nectar loops equals new string. Downtown, uptown, Brooklyn. String, times equals new string. Day, night, 4, anti equals 0, j equals 0, 
I Nike Tour Loops. Length J Times. Length I plus plus J plus plus System. Out. Print Nike Tour Loops I plus plus times J plus dash A Downtown Day B Downtown Day Uptown Night C The code does not compile D The code compiles but throws an exception at runtime The correct answer is B This code is correct. It initializes two variables and uses both variables in the condition check and the update statements. Since it checks the size of both arrays correctly, it prints the first two sets of elements, and option B is correct. Question 41. Fill in the blanks. The underscore access modifier allows access to everything the underscore access modifier does and more. A. Package private, protected. B. Protected, public. C. Protected, package private. D. Private, package private. The correct answer is C. The protected modifier allows access by subclasses and members within the same package, while the package private modifier allows access only to members in the same package. Therefore, the protected access modifier allows access to everything the package private access modifier, plus subclasses, making option C the correct answer. Options A, B, and D are incorrect because the first term is a more restrictive access modifier than the second term. Question 42. What is the command to call one constructor from another constructor in the same class? A. Super. B. This. C. That. D. Construct. The correct answer is B. The super statement is used to call a constructor in a parent class, while the this statement is used to call a constructor in the same class, making option B correct and option N incorrect. Option C and D are incorrect because they are not constructors. Question 43. Fill in the blank. Java uses to send data into a method. A. Pass by null. B. Pass by value. C. Both pass by value and pass by reference. D. Pass by reference. The correct answer is B. Java uses pass by value to copy primitives and references of objects into a method. That means changes to the primitive value or reference in the method are not carried to the calling method. That said, the data within an object can change, just not the original reference itself. Therefore, option B is the correct answer, and option C and D are incorrect. Option A is not a real term. Question 44. Which of the following is a valid Java Bean method signature? A. Public void get arrow. B. Public void set bow. C. Public void set range int range. D. Public string add target string target. The correct answer is C. Option A is incorrect because the getter should return a value. Option B is incorrect because the setter should take a value. Option D is incorrect because the setter should start with set and should not return a value. Option C is a correct setter declaration because it takes a value, uses the void return type, and uses the correct naming convention. Question 45. Which of the following statements about calling this in a constructor is not true? A. If this is used, it must be the first line of the constructor. B. If super and this are both used in the same constructor, super must appear on the line immediately after this. C. If arguments are provided to this, then there must be a constructor in the class able to take those arguments. D. If the no argument this is called, then the class must explicitly implement the no argument constructor. The correct answer is B. Options A, C, and D are true statements about calling this inside a constructor. Option B is incorrect because a constructor can only call this or super on the first line of the constructor, but never both in the same constructor. If both constructors were allowed to be called, there would be two separate calls to super, leading to duplicate initialization of parent constructors, since the other constructor referenced by this would also call super, or be chained to one that eventually calls super. Question 46. Which of the following can fill in the blank to make the class compile? Package i, public class robot, underscore compute, return 10, a public int. B long. C, void. D, private string. The correct answer is B. Option A is incorrect because the public access modifier starts with a lowercase letter. Option C and D are incorrect because the return types, void and string, are incompatible with a method body that returns an integer value of 10. Option B is correct and has package private access. It also uses a return type of long that the integer value of 10 can be easily assigned to without an explicit cast. Question 47. Fill in the blank, underscore variable is always available to all instances of the class. A. Public. B. Local. C. Static. D instance. The correct answer is C. The only variables always available to all instances of the class are those declared static. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Option A may seem correct, 
but public variables are only available if a reference to the object is maintained among all instances. Option B is incorrect because there is no local keyword in Java. Option D is also incorrect because a private instance variable is only accessible within the instance that created it. Question 48. Which of the following statements is not true? A. An instance of one class may access an instance of another class's attributes if it has a reference to the instance and the attributes are declared public. B. An instance of one class may access package private attributes in a parent class, provided the parent class is not in the same package. C. Two instances of the same class may access each other's private attributes. D. An instance of one class may access an instance of another class's attributes if both classes are located in the same package and marked protected. The correct answer is B. Options A, C, and D are true statements. In particular, option C allows us to write the equals methods between two objects that compare private attributes of the class. Option D is true because protected access also provides package private access. Option B is false. Package private attributes are only visible if the two classes are in the same package, regardless of whether one extends the other. Question 49. Which statement about a no-argument constructor is true? A. The Java compiler will always insert a default no-argument constructor if you do not define a no-argument constructor in your class. B. In order for a class to call super in one of its constructors, its parent class must explicitly implement a no-argument constructor. C. If a class extends another class that is only one constructor that takes a value, then the child class must explicitly declare at least one constructor. D. A class may contain more than one no-argument constructor. The correct answer is C. Option A is incorrect because Java only inserts a no-argument constructor if there are no other constructors in the class. Option B is incorrect because the parent can have a default no-argument constructor, which is inserted by the compiler and accessible in the child class. Finally, option D is incorrect. A class that contains two no-argument constructors will not compile because they would have the same signature. Finally, option C is correct. If a class extends a parent class that does not include a no-argument constructor, the default no argument constructor cannot be automatically inserted into the child class by the compiler. Instead, the developer must explicitly declare at least one constructor and explicitly define how the call to the parent constructor is made. Question 50. Which of the following method signatures does not contain a compiler error? A. Public void sing string key, string. Harmonies. B. Public void sing int note, string. Sound, int music. C. Public void sing string. Keys, string. Pitches. D. Public void sing string. Notes, string melodies. The correct answer is A. A method may contain at most one varargs parameter, and it must appear as the last argument in the list. For this reason, option A is correct, and options B, C, and D are incorrect.